Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews and this is my review for Project Power. With cinemas and movie companies slowly getting back to some sense of normality at the time of writing, August 2020, and with a number of big name releases closing in on the horizon, the likes of Netflix have been continuously releasing new features throughout this bizarre and difficult point in recent history. And this brings me to what is another high profile release with the new Netflix film, Project Power. Project Power has an excellent premise, a new drug has hit the market that grants the user superpowers for exactly five minutes. The powers are completely random and they can be deadly, but the premise alone is as good as the film actually gets. It squanders this premise with a thorough lack of imagination, lack of style and substance and ends up being an utterly derivative and frankly bang average movie that utilises every single familiar trope from several genres which results in a muddled and disappointingly forgettable experience. Starring Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, it follows Foxx as a vengeful father working his way through a criminal gang to the upper echelons of its organisation in an effort to find and rescue his kidnapped daughter in and amongst all the chaos that this new drug is inflicting upon society that in one instance turns someone into a glorified napalm bomb. Does it sound familiar? Well that's because it is. Fox's journey and motivations are literally lifted directly from the film Taken, unashamedly so that it copies a great number of the smaller individual moments of brutality that elevated Taken and Liam Neeson, but it doesn't work here. Why? Well, we have seen all this before. We have seen this over the last 10 years, this, this familiar trope, this idea, this plot device replicated in multiple films over multiple years, as I said, to the point where it simply leaves people rolling their eyes as soon as they hear this plot device. The Liam Neeson meme from Taken is still fresh enough in people's minds, even after all this time since the film's first release. And this is the problem with Project Power. There is nothing unique about it beyond the premise and it has a detrimental effect on everything that comes and the ending. The film is so predictable that it becomes tiresome despite the madcap, brutal graphic fight scenes. Nothing has any weight to it or any residual impact on its characters. Joseph Gordon-Levitt has one of the better moments in the film where, having taken a pill himself in the midst of a bank heist, he challenges the robber and is caught out and shot in the head. Fortunately for him, the power he gained was that it made him completely bulletproof. It is probably the best moment of the film for me, but the impact and the repercussions of his use of the drug and what it means to his views on his own mortality, his own future, are lost in the later scramble of the film. And the film completely neglects to ponder these wider questions of mortality and existence in any meaningful way beyond the surface exposition we get about the drug's creation and the experiments that led to its development. It's all just too thin and smacks of a gimmick that outran itself its own script, and indeed its budget. And this leads me squarely to my gripes on the execution of the film and its effects, which are bafflingly great at some points, with the man who bursts into flames looking, you know, pretty damn impressive, and the ending shot, which again is pretty impressive without, you know, giving any spoilers away. But then it becomes utterly ridiculous and looks terrible when a villain turns into, well, a hulking figure of a man? Yeah, we'll just go with that. There is no balance from one effects shot to the next, with some looking absolutely horrendous and haphazardly covered up by the editing team in some vain hope, you know, to mask how terrible it looks. And that is the film in a nutshell. It is Fantastic Four meets Limitless, but with none of the panache, none of the much-needed character development, none of the imagination, and, you know, 
absolutely nothing, you know, beyond some oddly placed rap monologues riddled with crime, superhero and action movie tropes that it ends up utterly lacking any identity in and of itself. You know, some of the performances are actually pretty good. Jamie Foxx leads the film really well. Uh, the young the young newcomer, you know, she's really, really good. She has some really good moments. Dominique uh, Fishback, I think her name is, you know, she does have some really great moments, but Joseph Gordon-Levitt gets lost in the middle and it all just seems too, you know, too much going on and not enough thought and time to bring it back level. Also, the powers. We've seen all these powers before. You know, we've seen them done better and executed far superior in other films, other better films, and that's the problem. There are other better films out there that do what this film does so much more better. It's a complete... It has to be a complete waste of time for me. I'd say it was disappointing, but at this point, are we becoming used to this kind of forgettable release? Possibly. But we shouldn't be coming used to this. You know, we should be demanding better. And unfortunately, this is a 3 out of 10 for me. And yeah, I don't have really much more to say on that apart from that. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.